Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to check the Heli Nation Talon 2207 Plus 2750 KV motors. In this video, I'm going to bench test it using my Moto Frost stand, and soon I'm going to feature it in one of my next build videos. The Talon 2207 Plus motor is available in three KV options. 1860 KV, which are compatible with up to 6S batteries, 2550 KV, which are compatible with up to 5S batteries, and the version that I'm going to bench test in this video is the 2750 KV version, which is rated to be working with 5S batteries. However, according to my test, you should stick only to 4S batteries because you are going to probably burn this motor using a 5S battery and a 5 inch propeller. The motor itself is of course not manufactured by Helination and it's customly made by RC in Power, which is great since it's one of the best brushless moto companies in the market. The weight of the motor, including the full length of the 20 AWG 15cm long motor wires and the motor nut is 33.6 grams. It features a hollow motor shaft. Over here you can find a grip pattern for better securing the propellers. And as expected from a premium motor, the motor bell is secured using an M3 hex screw. The next thing I've done is to bench test the Talon 2207 Plus motor, both using 4S and 5S batteries. As I mentioned before, it didn't survive the 5S test and I highly recommend to stick to 4S batteries when using 5-inch propellers and maybe it's going to survive 5S when using 4-inch propellers, but I haven't tested it out. In order to make the test a little bit more interesting, I also compared the 4-bladed and the 3-bladed versions of the Emacs Skimeter and the Jamfriend Hurricane propellers. As you're about to see, the 4-bladed version of the Emacs Skimeter propeller didn't perform well and I don't recommend to use it. It's probably best to stick to the three bladed version in case you have it. The four bladed version of the Jamfan Hurricane did a little bit better when the throttle was less than 90%, but it still wasn't efficient and it's going to draw more amperes. And I also recommend that it's better to stick to the three bladed version. Now I'm going to show the thrust test. And as you're about to see, this is a pretty powerful and also efficient motor. And hopefully I'm going to be able to test it soon when I'm going to feature it in a build video. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.